in today's video we're gonna do the kiss song I was made for loving you in synthwave <laughs> So today I'm gonna do my favorite rock band. When I was a kid, I just loved Kiss. So that's why I'm gonna do I Was Made For Loving You. And if you know any other rock and roll songs you wanna hear in synthwave kind of form, let's, please let me know, all right? Okay, so let's start. I have found some sounds already in my project. Uh, some drum sounds, oh, I have to put on this so I can hear what I'm doing. Some drum sounds. Yeah, synthwave drum sounds. The Poly 6 bass, of course. I'm using my my Korg Kronos here uh, as my Poly 6. I'll just write bass. Yes, and then I have another. Yeah, this is from the silent, silent one. 
this one I just love this it's a must when you make music I love silent and it's very CPU friendly very CPU friendly okay and then I have the Omnisphere I haven't found some sounds actually from the Omnisphere yet and I also use my SH201 the original uh, synth over here I can show you that's my I had this synth for a long time and I just love it it has very nice sounds in it so I'm gonna use it for the pads it's very, very mellow and of course I'm gonna use my Juno X for some sounds okay we're gonna start with the drums I just gonna yeah I got just gonna think I'm gonna do the drums for the intro and the verse and the chorus and stuff and then we do the bass after okay maybe I just fast forward because maybe it's a bit boring for you to see when I do the drums yeah. that was basically uh, intro, verse and uh, chorus I have to do some quantizing. Okay, then we do the bass. Yeah, I think we covered the bass for a while. <laughs> okay, maybe I play some wrong notes, but. Uh, I just let it be now. And I think I'll do some tweaking as well. Because I have some. Let me see here, dear. I have. I did assign my uh, chronos for my some of my knobs to do some stuff in the silent or any other sense okay so then I do this because when I enable the right I can write all my movements on my synth okay here we go I think I'll paint that in another color so I can recognize it later. Yeah, it's gonna be green for this time. Let's just see if it's working. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay, then I think I'll do some pads. And for the pads, as I told you, I'm using my SH201. And I have assigned this now to be a instrument uh, input on my Cubase. That means that I merged the audio and the MIDI into one instrument. Let's do some pads.
Okay. Okay, let's just record the Juno live. Okay. Live is a good thing. Let's do it. Now just duplicated my track because I'm going to record the Juno one more time. Okay, so now we have some, we'll just call this solo, and this is the pluck. Okay, so now I'm gonna just fix the track, so that's uh, it's a song, I think I will for fast forward that. I'm gonna do one more extra recording, I think, with some solo stuff from my Juno X, and uh, then I'm gonna sing. So let's record some solo stuff, and uh, later I'm gonna sing. I think I'll do some singing now and then maybe some after edits after I've done the singing when yeah regarding sounds and some more sounds maybe but I'll do the singing first and then I'll see you soon so I'm here in my hotel room actually in the west of Norway and I've done some vocals here uh, I really wanted to do the vocals like vocoder stuff but since I'm here in the hotel room I was not able to do, that, to do that and I had to get this track finished so I just uh, auto pitch my voice so much that it sounds almost like a vocoder uh, this is the original tonight I want to give it all to you yeah, of course with some reverb and stuff and then I processed it so hard to make it sound like a vocoder and I dubbed it uh, with my uh, with my original voice track tonight I want to give it all to you okay, it's almost it's almost vocoder but I did also 12 semitones up so I have this. tonight I want to give it all to you so that made the vocoder sound and I also dubbed that one extra time I just copied the track uh, as you can see here one track is on the left side and the other track 
is on the right side with a 25 millisecond delay. So we get this uh, you can hear that. stereo thing. All together, I think the vocals sounds pretty much like a vocoder. Tonight, I wanna give it all to you. Also with the second voice here as well. In the darkness, there's so much I wanna do. Almost like vocoder. It's really out to pitch, but. Uh, yeah, auto pitch, if you use it too much, it sounds like a vocoder. So that was my goal actually to make a vocoder sound. Okay, anyway, as you can see here, I recorded this solo part. Maybe you remember from uh, my recordings from the Juno, um, Juno X. This one, but I ended up not using it because it's too much when the vocals are there. And uh, of course, when you record vocals, you often find out that you did record some synth stuff that is unnecessary. And I also missed some synth stuff. So I took away the solo part. I kept uh, this part, of course. Together with the Juno X. Juno, <laughs> okay, Juno X stab synth. Change the sound a little bit as well. Uh, when I recorded it, it was more like this pluck sound, but I want this more trans, trans kind of sound. Uh, okay, so I added as well, as you can see here, I call this sound techno, and here is the reason why I call it techno. really cool and it's making the drive in the song I think but in the mix it's a quite a turn down and I pan it also over to the to the left side um, yeah what's more new uh, I think you saw the rest this one I guess you saw So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, kiss session. Yeah, I just love my shirt. <laughs> I was a big kiss fan back in the days. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.